He's a great icebreaker. You know, when I'm in an airport, when I'm in, uh, we, like we go to the folk festival, or we go any place to a dance, to a concert, much better than a cane. When you got a cane, people kind of avoid you. Raymond Lambert of Otis has, for the last seven years, spent every day with dear friend and partner, Dane, the guide dog, who helps Ray through every part of his day. It's a very, very close relationship. I, I mean, he's, he's like a partner. Every route that I take at the Jackson Laboratory, he knows. He knows where I want to go. If it's 10 o'clock on Tuesday morning, he knows I've got to go to a meeting at the same... He just takes me to the room. It just happens every, every Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock, he knows. If it's a Wednesday afternoon and I've got to ride with this guy as opposed to this person, he knows that that's 3 o'clock and he knows that uh, I have to go this particular route in this particular parking lot and not the other parking lot. He knows all this stuff. Now, after seven years of daily bonding and working together, it is time for Dane to retire. He probably could work another year or two, but I, I wanted to uh, give him away to somebody while he still could be a dog and be healthy. He, he's about ready, though. He, he, I can tell that he doesn't want to do some things that he used to do. And what kind of things? Well, when I go to work in the morning, I have to walk two miles to a store to catch the ride. And uh, when he, uh, when I call him, he just comes to me with his head down, and he's very, very slow. Whereas when I first got him, he was always excited to go any place. And I think he just doesn't like to go to work, <laughs> like the rest of us. Ray is now in New Jersey, being trained with his new seeing eye dog. And Dane has gone to live with a retired woman who visits nursing homes, being able to use Dane as a therapy dog as well as a pet who can spend his retirement relaxing. For FenceViewer.com, this is Jesse Groening.